Okay, so I'm gonna add Bad Ab Black Wash here, and here we go. So I'm just running the brush. You see how watery thin this, this uh, pigment is. It's not really a paint. It's more like a, um, well, it's like an ink. It is very runny, and uh, it's just gonna darken up the, the metal that I painted and fill in the crevices darker, which is great because that, when you paint things, you know, you tend to fill in the blanks and what this will allow is, is for a quick, easy fill of those dark crevices. So I'm just going to throw some on. I'm going to put it all over this model, I think. I like how it's looking. So I'm just going to run the wash, as they say. Here we go. As I go, it's, you see how it's highlighting the edges? parts of the model that you wouldn't normally see. Um, music's a little loud, I'm going to turn it down. I hope you're enjoying this. This is Injustice for All from Metallica. I highly recommend it. Uh, go out and buy it. Don't pirate your videos. Lars, that one's for you. Um, so here we go. The, the front, I love the front of this. So. I'm going to do some uh, Bad Ab Black highlight uh, wash down on the low trim here. Um, and maybe along the, um, the pillars here, just to darken them up. You see how the, the paint fills in around the, the rivets there. Very cool. Loving this product. It's, it's another win for... Um, for Warhammer and the Citadel paint range. Very good on them. You can just go directly onto the parts you want to darken. And that's how it works. The washes work really well, you can see, and they, they're really going to fill in the details that you can miss on a regular model. Um, now, this is after the base paint's been applied, as you can see. So the bad of black is a little dark, you know, I'd like to see some more mud tones, so we're going to do that next. Um, I'm just about done using this. Let's grab a little more. Get these fellas over here nice and grimy. Yeah, the wash is really interesting. It just fills in, fills in all the gaps, fills in all the little dark spaces on the model and defines the layers and the textures of the model itself. Very well done models. Um, again, I highly recommend the Citadel range for um, scenery. That they, they make a really nice product. Um, I don't work for the company, but I, I do speak for their, their model making skills. Rules, again, being another story. I do enjoy the game. I, I wouldn't want to be in their shoes, per se. Um, with all the critics out there. Um, but that's just uh, the way it is in this world. So, here we go. I think I'm done with the, the black, so I'll rinse off my, my wash, and I'll go to a lighter, uh, the Devlin Mud. Let's see how that looks like. It looks about black also, so I'm just going to pass and go to the next one, Griffon Sepia. Yeah, this has a more brownish hue, so I'm curious to see how that, that looks. Let's put it on um, the metal. Yeah, it sort of gives a rust effect, that's what I'm looking for. Browns the metal. I think that's great. You want some variation in your textures. And your, your, otherwise, it all reads the same. Like, I'm having a, some issues around that. Well, there you go. That's um, that's the starter for washes. you got to let them dry. They take a while. Um, they apparently, you know, are very thin water, water base. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to throw on a little more. I'm going to um, get to finishing this one now in the washes. And uh, we'll be back to you uh, shortly. Hope you're having a good day. Don't forget to um, sign up for notifications. Uh, press the like button if you see anything you like. And uh, if you don't, press that button anyway.